So if you want to start out with 3D printing yourself in 2023, here is a list of 10 of the best 3D printers you can buy on the market right now. So I actually used the ChatGPT software on the website of openai.com to come up with this list for me. So I didn't have to uh, look it up myself. So I went to the ChatGPT website and I asked him the following. Give me a comparison table of 10 3D printers under $1,500. So after a minute or so, it eventually came up with a table which got the price, the build volume, the filament compatibility and the maximum resolution, which is always good to know. Um, so yeah, this is a list of 10 3D printers you could use yourself. Um, these days the printers aren't that expensive anymore, they are perfect for do-it-yourself uh, do projects. Um, I also have a 3D printer myself, which is the Ender 3 Pro, which is actually a very good 3D printer. It was very easy to set up and it was uh, quite cheap actually, I think between two and three hundred dollars actually. Um, so yeah, it will actually come up with the best 3D printers which you can buy under $1,500 right now. So for example, if you want to know a little bit more about, um, for example, the filament, because you're a beginner in 3D printing, for example, and you don't know which filament is the best for you to start with, uh, you can, for example, ask the ChatGPT, like, uh, come up with the with three of the best beginner fil filaments to start with for the Ender 3 and, and explain why, for example. So it has to think a little bit and eventually it will come up with a short, briefly list of the three best beginner filaments to start with. All right, here is going. So PLA, that's a common used filament. It's very easy to use because it actually has a very low uh, melting point. So it doesn't take a lot of heat to actually uh, start working with this material. And it's uh, yeah, pretty strong. Uh, PET-G is a little bit stronger than PLA and has a little bit uh, higher melting temperature. And ABS is also very tough, very good for uh, printing high quality and durable prints yourself. So you see actually what the power is of this ChatGPT tool. If you want to ask it any question. So for example, you, you want to start out with the, the 3D printer, for example, the Ender 3. You know a little bit about the filaments and now you want to know what you can print, for example. So you can ask it like, uh, come up with five um, IDs for three, 3D printing as a beginner. Keychains or other small decorative items, phone cases. Okay, that's very interesting. I didn't think about that myself actually. Truly, okay. I don't think I want to uh, use Truly, which is 3D printer, but okay. Spare parts or replacements for broken items. That is actually a good one. So yeah, this is actually a little little tutorial about how to use the ChatGPT and which 3D printers you can buy actually in 2023. So if you like this video, uh, please consider subscribing and let me know in the comments with, uh, with what 3D printer you want to start out with this year. See you in the next video.